Hey there, Michael Bovey with Consumer Recovery Network. I want to talk about small balance accounts and how to manage those if you're thinking about settling them. If you have advanced opportunity to plan on what you're going to settle, as in you haven't fallen more than 30 days behind on anything yet, sometimes you're looking at wanting to continue to make your minimum payment on small balances or even pay them off if you're going to start into some kind of settlement type of approach to dealing with your debt. I try, whenever possible, to discourage people from enrolling small balances. By small, I mean like $1,200, $1,300 or lower. Because when you stop paying, you're going to end up having $38 late fees attached to the account every month. And because you usually can't settle for the best savings until you're five or six months late on most credit cards, for example, you're going to end up, I mean, your debt might double, right? The smaller the balance, the more it could even triple, right? So the reason you try and avoid settling small balance accounts is because you're not gonna save anything mathematically. In fact, you could do worse than your balance today. So leaving those out is important and it's okay. I know that, that you, I've just, I'm, one of the reasons I'm recording this video is because I answer a lot of online questions every day, both in the YouTube comments, which by the way, you're welcome to ask questions about small balance accounts below. I answer them every day, seven days a week. Um, all, all over the, the web actually, on my website, other websites, I'm answering these things. And I wanna get to the bottom of why people are trying to settle these small balance accounts and sometimes they're being told that they have to, like they're dealing with some company that's going to help settle all their debts and they've got five really big ones and two really small ones and they're saying, nope, you have to do everything. And that's a crock. I mean, maybe they make you do it, but it's not true. You can actually settle five big balance accounts and leave two open and, and continue to pay them or pay them down to zero or pay the $25 minimum. And the reason you do that is because of the mathematical benefit is obvious that I already covered. You don't want the debt to double. And then because small balance accounts don't settle as well as big balance accounts because debt collectors are going, who can't come up with an extra hundred bucks. And they're often right to think that way. So on a percentage basis, small balances don't even settle that well. So again, mathematically, you lose that. But there's a benefit to actually having paid those off. And that's later when all of your debts are settled, having some accounts that didn't go bad in the first place that may even still be open for you um, that's going to help offset some of the damage from the settlements that you did. The other ones that you fell behind on after they're all settled, your credit can bounce back even faster. So there's a real benefit to leaving out the small balances, not just mathematical. It is the case that when the decision was taken from you and you couldn't pay, you didn't pay like a whole bunch of debts, and you may have a handful of small balance accounts that are already late. Tell you what, if they're already 30 days, 60 days, and especially if they're already 90 days late, Eh, you probably want to settle them at that point because the debts are already gone up and the credit damage is already there. You're not going to unwind that damage. They've probably already closed the accounts on you. And so at that point, fine. Your expectations about what kind of deal you're going to get are going to be different. And again, I answer those questions about different creditors and what to target in given situations in the comments below. See you on the next video.